1.21 introduced loads of new features, and one of those features being a brand new potion called the Potion of Infestation. In this video, I'm going to make that potion to create the best XP farm in Minecraft Bedrock. So to start off, I'm going to grab a shulker box and begin grabbing all the items. And to build a swarm, I think I'm going to actually use tough, just because I think it'd look kind of nice. Also, it's a new block in Minecraft, so it, it, I need to use it in something. And I think it'd be a better idea to make this all polished. There we go, that's good. I also need nine slabs, seven ladders, and I'm also going to need six cobwebs. And the easiest way I can see to get them is to head to the stronghold, which I believe should be in this village. And there sadly seems to be no goblins here, so I'll just have to find another one. And unfortunately, I couldn't find another library, so I'm gonna have to go to another stronghold. Here we are at the coordinates, so we'll dig down. Oh, and here we are. All right, cool, cool, cool. I'll just place some blocks here so I know my way out. Now it's time to find this library room. Oh, and here we are. Let's go. So we'll grab six cobwebs. And we'll also grab that. That's actually pretty useful. And now we'll head out of here. Put the cobwebs in the shelter box and continue gathering the item, which includes three chef doors, a lectern, a campfire, a barrel, and two regular chests, a piece of netherrack, two pieces of magma, 13 droppers, five dispensers, seven pistons, two sticky pistons, two copper bulbs, 18 observers, one block of redstone, five hoppers, three stairs, 34 glass, one minecart, a hopper minecart, 33 redstone, six repeaters, eight comparators, eight redstone torches, three buttons, a lever, two buckets of water. Well, this was a really dumb idea. Trying to get a bucket of lava, I just, I just fell into the lava. Luckily, totems are a thing. But I could easily re-equip one, head back to the overworld, and finish up the items I need, which includes tons of flint and steel, and I also want absolutely loads of tridents with impaling five. About two stacks of stone, two rails, two pieces of honeycomb, one jukebox, one music disc, and about three amethyst shards. And that should be all the items fully collected. But before I build this farm, I'm gonna head over to the village, get a trial explorer map, and actually explore a few more trial chambers. That's because Minecraft 1.21.2 has came out. And for bad recognition, that basically makes windburst a lot less rare than it used to be. It's still pretty rare, but it's a lot less rare, so we're gonna try and get that. That way, I can actually have a fully maxed out mace. And would you look at that, we're in. And we're straight into this room too. So let's put on the chest plate and start killing some mobs. Oh sweet, we got a normal child key. But normal child keys are actually not the thing I want. I want the ominous one. So we're gonna drink an ominous potion and we're gonna do this again. Time to see what this ominous spawner's got for me. No, literally nothing. And now, oh boy, look at that. That was all cut off. Whoa, I got a diamond block from this one. That's actually so rare. What in the world? It's another one of these rooms. I just had two in one trial chamber. Is that rare? I don't even know. Let me just activate all of them. That way, I could deal with them a lot easier. Well, I guess a lot faster, not easier. Things are actually getting kind of close there. I am less than half health right now. Well, I think that's all of them defeated. So let's get this ominous fall. And actually, there was a comment on my last video telling me to mine around the ominous fall and watch the items inside. So you can see there are items kind of circling inside. If I go a block lower, you'll be able to see that better. Look, you saw an enchanted book there. So I need to click on it when I see an enchanted book. And that will hopefully give me that enchanted book. Okay, there we go. Oh no, I clicked on it too late. So it just gave me another, oh my goodness. Wait, but it might work. I think that is right. I'll try to remember to do that for the next ominous vault that I find. And let's make our way up this little nice room, which is actually so cool. I still can't believe how cool this room is. And here's another ominous vault. So I'm going to get to this one. And I'm going to try the same trick from before. So, see, I keep doing it way too late because it doesn't do what's it sh what it's showing. It does what's right after. And I think this actually might be the entire trial chamber explored, which is kind of sad because this was a... <laughs> really bad one. But anyway, I'm gonna get out of here and we're gonna try a new trial chamber. So let's get to work. And this should be right about where it is. Hopefully I have better results than this one. Oh, we're right in. Alright. This one seems to be co very corrupted as well. Oh, wait a minute, look. This little cave just leads right- What in the world? Alright, here's another ominous fall. Alright, well that timing still didn't work, but I got a natch apple, so that's pretty good. Well, that was also a complete disappointment, so I'm gonna get out of here too. Oh no! I was just trying to go to bed. No way I started a raid in that village. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna deal with that later guys so i'm actually just gonna switch up villages real quick and get my next trial explorer map from here and i think this is gonna be the last trial chambers i explore right now well <laughs> that's really disappointing i explored one last trial chamber and found two windburst books and i put that on my mace and got windburst 2 here's the audio from that yes oh my goodness let's go guys there's no way okay guys that is windburst 1 and you might be wondering why i'm so excited well windburst books only come in windburst 1 actually so i can't find four of those but oh my goodness the fact that I found one. I'm so glad I finally got it. Maybe we could get a second one from here. You never know. Although chances of that are really slim. Another enchanted golden apple though. That's always, that's great. Oh my goodness, another enchanted book. Oh, what is happening? I just slammed the table. What is happening? Two in a row, back to back guys. Oh, I cannot believe this. That's already win burst two. 
What in the world? And then I came home and started building up this insane XP farm. And unfortunately, after all that, my uh, video footage did not save on my iPhone. So that is actually really annoying. But anyway, I'm really hoping this one saves. Let's get rid of this jukebox because I've already have the six OAs that I want. And now my job is to get them into these mine carts. There we go. That was pretty easy. And now I can finally get rid of this whole room. And I'm also going to get rid of this whole staircase. And before I continue, yeah, this is what I've gotten done so far. If you didn't know, I already made a tutorial video on this. This is my very own design. I've just had to modify it a little so it works with the amount of lays that I want. Anyway, next what we're going to do is break this block. That'll send them all down here. And now I want a staircase facing this way. I also need to build up some blocks so that I could push one right above those LAs. But before I break all the mine cards, I'm just going to place a dispenser right here. And now, if I just come in here and break away all these mine cards, that should not have happened. Hold on, let me just try this again. Okay, this is KP back in here. And this time, I'm going to place a block above that stair. Boom! There, they're all in. Let's go. Okay, now I can get rid of all this. And with that done, I can finally continue. Here's where the flint and steel will go. And this will be the storage for all the potions of infestation. Now it's time to throw in all these tridents. I actually want 24 tridents in there. And that should be all of them down. It's pretty loud. But it gets the job done. And right here, I'm going to be making the hopper clock. Which is going to be looking something like this. That's going to be one of the timers for this farm. <laughs> and what this red zone line does is literally turn on the farm. And this crop of bulb I actually want on. Once that's done, I'll place a comparator here. And a piece of redstone dust there. That's a system that'll lock and unlock this hopper clock. Next, I want two observers facing down right here with a waxed copper bulb here, a comparator coming out of it, going into a solid block, and two pieces of redstone dust on top of those with a repeater on three ticks. These two glass blocks will prevent any silverfish from escaping on top, and so will this slab. And here, I've built the second timer of the farm. All this does is detects when the water is dispensed and lets lava flow down. It gives about a five second cooldown so that the LAs can regen and not die. And finally, to finish up the farm i'll be creating the last timer for this farm and this will be the timer that'll re-splash the lays with the infested potion and i found that the best way to do that and also kind of the funniest is to have a minecart fall through cobwebs then it reach the bottom here go through this hopper that comparator will detect that and then it send another signal which will dispense another potion and that should be the entire farm completed if you want to know exactly how this works watch the tutorial video but to get this farm started i'm first going to place all the flint and seal in this barrel and i'm actually also going to head back Get some rest first and then brew three bottles of infestation. I forgot to put some nether ward in there, so I just made some mundane potions. This time, let's actually make some awkward potions. Then make the potions of infestation. And of course, we want them splash. There we go. And once I put these bottles in this chest, we can now start the farm. And look at that. Look at how fast my levels are going up as well. And you could also put as many LAs in there as you would like. And of course, more LAs would need more levels. Well, that's not good. All the LAs actually just died. But luckily, I know exactly why. When I was looking on the Minecraft wiki, I read that LA's regen two hearts per second. But in reality, it was just two HP per second, which is the equivalent of one heart. So I just really need to extend this lava flow, which should be pretty easy. I just need to grab some more glass, and that should be good. But now comes the tricky part, which is getting more LA's. I could go to a woodland mansion or a pillager outpost, but I believe there are some LA's around our gold farm. So if I could at least get one, <laughs> I think I'd be happy. Oh, and here's one right down here. That's perfect. I'm gonna grab you. And you're just gonna come with me. I'll give him a piece of stone. That way he also just follows me. Oh, and actually, there's another one right here that I could might as well grab. Perfect. Now I got to see you guys. And here we are all the way back. I'm actually gonna have to break a bunch of this so I can build this room again. Get all the minecarts in. And before I do anything, I'm gonna grab five more amethyst shards. And I'm gonna breed an extra allay. And this guy could and just be our safeguard. In case, you know, anything anything else goes wrong, he'll be there to back us up. And you, my good sir, can also take an item. Anyway, we'll grab these LAs and bring them to this room. And I'll breed the rest of the LAs. There we go. That should actually be all of them. So we'll break this block, and that's going to reveal all the mine cards, and we're going to try to get them in. Boom, and that's all of them in. So now I'll break this block and go to sleep. Then I'll get the stair on top of that. And finally, we'll come down here and break all the mine cards. There we go. That should be good. Now, for hopefully the last time, I'll get rid of this entire thing. There we go. And that should be all down for the most part. So we'll brew up some more potions of infestation. We'll put those through and we're gonna test out the farm. I'm just gonna block myself in as it turns nighttime. That way no mobs can get to me. All right, well, the LAs seem to not be dying, but there is another problem. That being that this minecart is not falling down where it's supposed to be. So I gotta get to fixing that real quick. And there we go. The system is definitely a much easier to way to do that. And it also completely fixes that issue. So now that everything seems to be in place, I'll brew three more potions of infestation. Add them all in. And we'll test out the farm once more. Hopefully this time 
time it actually works. And while this is happening, YouTube tells me that only 97% of you are actually subscribed. So by subscribing, you can help flip that statistic and prove that Bedrock is just as good as Java. Or better. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing. And of course, you can always unsubscribe. No, I completely forgot to put the lava bucket back in that dispenser. But now, now it should be working. So I'll sit here for a few more minutes and we'll see what levels I get to. And there we go. It seems to me that the farm is fully completed. So I can stop the farm. And this was just here because it was turning nighttime. And you know what? The LA's are alive and that whole minecart system is working. So I think it's a win. I'm real quickly going to go back home. I'll put all my items through a sorter. You guys remember that raid I started earlier? Well, I think it's about time we go ahead and take care of that. Ow. Guys, get in your houses. You can't die, dude. You, you actually cannot die. I'm gonna block him off like that, because I actually need him to survive. Now we'll put on the chest plate. Go to sleep real quickly. Anyway, we need to find these pillagers. Wow, this village is massive. Where are these guys? I'm actually beyond confused right now. Oh, wait, here's a guy. What are you doing all the way out here, buddy? I saw another guy over here somewhere. Ah, there's another guy right there. There we go. Oh my goodness, dude. Windburst sent you so high up. Where's this last guy, though? It's actually probably the worst place to do a raid in. Ah, there you are. Whoa. I just ended up flying with the wind charge. Ah, there we go. That felt nice. All right, hopefully these next guys are actually more clear to find. It's just those three pillagers really took forever to get. Ah, uh, here they are. Whoa, that was that was actually really cool what I just did there. Oh, look at the Iron Golem actually doing something. Let's go, dude. He's really damaged, though. I don't have any iron to heal. Him. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to stay like that. Ah, and there are the big guys. Oh, no, I did that wrong. I did that so wrong. Oh. Oh. Oh, I just chained it. Let's go. That was sick. It's actually really hard to do. What in the world? You. And then can I get you? Oh, wait. I guess I kind of got him. That was pretty nice. And over here are the next guys. Wow, there are a lot of witches in this one, actually. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Why is my health kind of getting low? That poison takes forever to go away. Oh, and here are all these guys. Oh, that was nice. Actually turning nighttime. So in the middle of this raid, I'm going to get some rest. There you guys are. I hope you didn't miss me too much. Whoa. Oh, that was sick. Come on. You have to admit that. Hey, here's this evoker guy I can deal with. Oh, yeah. And there's another totem. Nice. <laughs> Except for the one I lost earlier. No. Here lies the iron golem. I'm actually going to take your iron. That's actually kind of useful. Thanks. I see him. Do you think we could... Oh my goodness, that was that was really dangerous actually. Oh, okay, okay. We're just gonna deal with you like that. I need to stop taking such risky things. Oh my goodness, that guy shot me mid-air? Really? Oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, the mace is actually kind of difficult to use. Especially in situations like this one. Oh, okay, okay, not again. You get so much fall damage from the wind burst. Which is a major drawback. Alright, hopefully this is the last wave. Because I only have two more wind charges left. Which means I can't really use the mace for much too long. Oh, I guess I guess they're all here. Oh, that was actually a really bad idea. Hold on. Let's fly Wait a little. Put my chest plate on. Kill this guy real quick. Oh man. Oh, this is actually really bad. Hold on. Let's eat some food. No, I just threw my wind charges. Oh, that was sick. Alright, well, that's him dealt with. Without the chest plate, I'm really getting hurt right now. So let's equip that. And then we can get to the killer. Another totem. Nice. And with this guy down, that should be the end of the raid. There we go. Finally. That took forever. And that means you can be released out of your little cage. No, do not jump. Are you kidding me? You jumped down there immediately? But anyway, I'm gonna dump out a bunch of all this junk. We'll put the totems in the totem chest. And we'll trade with this cartographer for a discounted trial explorer map. And that's because I want to explore some more trial chambers. In hopes that I could get some more windburst. And eventually get windburst 3 on my maze. Anyway, this is where the trial chamber should be. So we'll dig down. Actually, I think it's important that I come back home real quick. And grab some ominous bottles from the other trial chambers that I've explored. And also grab an extra shulker box. Simply because I know my inventory will be getting very full. Anyway, now I'll dig down and start exploring oh great cave spiders right off the bat awesome well i'll drink an ominous bottle and we'll get into business oh my goodness wait that can spawn in one of these that's crazy i had no idea a spider jockey could spawn from these trial chambers anyway there was that completed and another ominous trial key and i believe yeah there's a spider spawner down here as well luckily they're only normal spiders i also have no idea where this last spider went oh and here's the last spider oh well that was actually kind of useless but what is not useless is this ominous spawner that's down here which actually was very useless but this chest never let me down and it's always worth heading down here to check this ominous vault. Again, nothing all that great. Oh, that's so annoying. I went, <laughs> went to attack with the mace, but I got stuck in a cobweb. Oh, and this one, we got an enchanted book. Oh, it was only multi-shot. And with this ominous vault, oh, which actually gave an enchanted book. Hold on. Let's go! Windburst 1! That's incredible, actually. That's so good. That just gives me one more book to Windburst 3. Anyway, I believe that's the entire trial chamber explored. <gasps> no! Are you kidding me? No, stop burning. Stop burning. Come under here. Come under here. <gasps> it rained. Okay, okay. I need to save this guy. There's no way that just happened. That's so annoying. Let me real quick 
quickly grab a golden apple. And we also need to grab a spider eye. Some sugar. And also a brown mushroom. I don't think I actually have many brown mushrooms. So what I'll do is take this one. Grab some bone meal. And we'll do something like this. And I would totally use my axe to do this. But it has silk touch. And it wouldn't drop me the mushrooms. But I could basically insta mine this. This is actually so good. And there we go. 31 should be good. I really only needed one. I wanted some extra. That way I could put it all in here. Now to craft the fermented spider eye. And now I need to make a weakness potion. And of course I'll need to make those splash potions as well. There we go. Now it's time to go cure this villager. Hold on. I actually don't need all of these. Anyway, I'll splash him with the weakness potion. Which I'm not even sure if I did. Hold on guys. I think I missed. Here we go. Let's try this again. And then we'll feed him a gap. Now I think if we save and quit the game. And then go back in. There we go. He should be cured. That's actually a really good trick. Anyway, we'll buy the trial explorer map off him for only one emerald. That's so good. And we'll also go to bed. Not again. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. You've got to be kidding me. I guess it's probably smart to light up this area. <laughs> and I guess I have to do that again. And there we go. He's all set again. I'll real quickly move his job site block right over here. That way he can actually replenish his trades. <laughs> there we go. He should be all set. So now we'll finally head on to the next trial chambers. Well, we're in. Straight into this room. Nice. That's actually a really bad reward. But we'll keep on exploring. Finally, another trail key. That means we can open this ominous vault. Which again was kind of a letdown. And we can also check this ominous vault down here. Now we're officially out of ominous trail key. I also love these pots. You actually get some like good loot out of them. Which I think is actually a cool way to implement loot into the trial chamber. Anyway, we're gonna have to fight more trials. That way we can get more ominous trial keys. Oh, yeah, that was sick. Well, I think I've explored this entire trial chamber as well. And as cool as it would be to get Windburst 3 in this video, I don't think I'm gonna do that. I just really want to get this video out to you guys. So instead, first I'll go to bed. I'll brew nine more potions of infestation. I'm gonna use this farm to get me to 200 levels. Just because I've never gotten there, and I think it'd be really cool to do that. So with all the potions in there, I'll block myself in. And we'll start the farm. Now we just sit here for the next 27 minutes. And everything seems to be working. So let's hope nothing breaks this time. And here we go, we're at level 190. There's level 195, 196, 197, 198, 199, and finally level 200. That was actually really quick. That only took about 10 minutes. But anyway, I'm going to go until all the potions have ran out. And we'll see where we are at that point. And there we go. It looks like that's all done. So we'll turn off the farm. I'd say 227 levels is pretty good. And don't worry, if you want to build this farm for yourself, I will make a video about the specific changes you need to make in order to have this working perfectly. I do feel terrible for actually making a farm that breaks. So I'll try to get that out as soon as possible. And also, that wasn't built there by accident. I actually built it there, so every time I AFK, this iron farm works as well. And you know, it's not tons of iron, but this is still pretty good. It's just working in the background every time I AFK over there. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.